Hey, what's up, family? Thanks for tuning in today. Hey, for the people who don't know me, it's your boy, QFresh95. Let's get it. Today, what we got going on is a product review. This is going to be like my first one, but it's going to be special to me. I feel like I, I use this product a lot. She's very near and dear to me. Five things that I love about the Ninja 400. So, number one, style. <laughs> Purely. This is one of the best looking bikes ever. All right, just, you know what I'm saying? Look how aggressive she look. I love the headlights on this bike. Uh, I could care less for these. I won't take them off, but it looks good. This bike is super sleek, super sexy. Tail lights look amazing. It does come with some big ass exhaust that looks eh-ish, but I took it off. But one, style, this shit. It's beautiful. Look at the tachometer. Oh, let's turn it on the bike. Sauce. Sauce. That's number one. Just sauce. Ninja 400 stickers looking good. They stay on. This is the 2020 Ice White Edition, if you guys ask. And if you haven't noticed whatever I've posted a lot about it go to the other videos and check them out it wasn't always like this built not bought baby number two number two ergos obviously this is a sports tour bike so when I got this bike you know what I'm saying I wasn't really comfortable with the trying to get on the 600 and having been all hunched up, I wanted something just more up front, like I could just sit on it, you know, feel comfortable in it. So I went for the sports tour. I wanted like a sports bike look without the pain, the back pain, you know? So ergos, look, let's see, let's see, like what? Right here with it, you know. Your back is it's good on the, on the Ninja 1000, y'all. That might be next up. <laughs> now we made it to the Alan Iverson number three. All right, three is always listen. Wait, gotta get y'all a coat. Wait. My garage, bro. I ain't trying to die in this bitch. All right, so we still on three. Here we go, cold start. I'll, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. think I did that because number three is just showing off reliability that's what this bike is always about I've had this bike for two years roughly 3,800 almost 3,900 miles nothing wrong with it nothing broke starts every time chain still new like I couldn't ask for anything better from a starter bike so reliability number three all right so number four is a preference for me this is this is just how I feel about it. You see, my bike is still on a stock height. So one thing I like about this bike is that it's not that tall. I'm only like 5'8", maybe 5'9", on a good day. But I mean, I'm talking about like Air Forces on and two pair of socks, you feel me? So, <laughs> hey, if I wore some 10s, I'm like 5'10", okay? Like, <laughs> nah, but this bike, <clears throat> this is why I like height.
easily flat foot this thing with my with my slides on. Wait. Alright, this thing is walking. Yeah. Height. <clears throat> Number four. This. As I said, this is my first bike, and I just felt really uncomfortable trying to get something taller, like a 650, 600, you know what I'm saying? And I had to tiptoe that thing. I, I would have dropped that bitch in my first couple weeks. So, 400, one of the reasons why I got it. Number four, it's always for the height, you know? Not everybody can be six fucking three or something. Like, Jesus, why you ain't bless me with the height? All right, so to end the list, we on number five. And <laughs> number five... You know I had to mention it. Y'all yeah, already know it. Number five. You cannot do a list without mentioning it. Power, baby. Number five is power. For the, for the class that you're in, you're going to get the most power with this. R3s, can't touch me. Nah, gap will be all day. Uh, CBR 250, gap. CBR, four, or CBR 500, gap. Like, 400, in the small sports bike uh, department, best one, most power. But when I say power, I do want y'all to know that I mean like zero to about 80, all right, power, like low band of it. Don't think you finna go 120 on this thing, you know, zero to 100 in first gear. Nah, power, like it's best zero, zero to about 80. All right, this is a good bike. You know, if you if you plan on having it to be a commuter bike around town or something, you know, this ain't something that you about to hit the freeway on and feel like you can be the fastest or you <laughs> don't get, don't hit the freeway with this and think you about to outrun a Hellcat. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Don't you see the police? Just pull over. They're gonna catch you. This not this not a getaway bike type of shit. <laughs> But I do love this bike. This is my first bike ever. Like <clears throat> when I got this bike, it was a 2020. It might have had one mile on it. Right off the dash. I love this shit. So that's what I'm gonna end my list with. That's my five. Uh till next time, I guess. I'm